Hi, my name is Aaron Robbins, and I wanted to do another Magica Voxel tutorial, this time on a quick and easy way to make trees. I should say a quick and fun way to make trees, because it's kind of a fun way. There's lots of different ways to make trees in a voxel art program. Um, this one shows off a, a couple of Magica Voxel's really cool features, so we'll take a look at that. And it's the method that I used to make this little Main Street uh, Disneyland trolley scene. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene here. And I got a scene that is the same size as the last scene that I had open. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in 96 here once and hit enter. And it'll give me that for X, Y, and Z. And then I need to get rid of this cube. So I'm going to expand my brush option. I'm going to choose the face tool here and erase and just take that all the way down. And then we will select a green. These are the color swatches from that scene that was just open. And they're still here. Um, so I don't know what colors these are. But uh, let's go ahead and select Attach, still with the face, and we'll just raise this sort of ground thing up right here. Um, next thing you want to do is build the trunk for the tree. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a big sphere on top of the tree. And I will show you why that's important in just a second. So I'm going to select the vector brush here. And I'm going to set the, it's just on cube here, which it should be by default. But you can also select sphere, which we're going to use in a second. And then I'm going to go up here and create a trunk material. And I think that's this. That's actually my horse material up there. Let's go with this for the trunk material because I think that's it. And I'm going to create mine uh, four, uh, two by two. So four voxels. There you go. And then we can go back, switch out to the face tool, and bring the tree up as high as we want. Now here's the important thing. The next thing we're going to do is put a sphere on top of this, and you would think, at least I would think, that the sphere is going to, the bottom of the sphere is going to touch the top of the trunk here. And really what happens is the middle of the sphere touches the top of the trunk. Um, so you want to have your trunk at least high enough that, you know, half of your sphere is going to come down into this midsection area and not make the trunk look too small. So that actually might be too small. We'll raise it a little higher. And we're going to go back to the vector tool, and we have this awesome uh, little settings for the vector tool here where we can create a cube that's one by one. Um, we could change that to something else, or we could create a sphere. A sphere that's one by one is, of course, still just a cube. So we're going to set this up to something crazy, like 22. Experiment with what you'd like. And then you can see we have our tree. And you can see the red square in there is telling me where on that tree trunk that is hidden there. It's trying to place it, and I want it to go on top. So notice how the square um, sort of looks like it's on top now. It's in perspective as if it were on top. And you can see that that middle, it's, it's actually placing the sphere in the middle of the trunk, and it's making my trunk look like it's too small. So we're going to go back to the face tool and make it even taller. And then we're going to select uh, some kind of green for the tree. Let's go with that green and back to the vector tool. I'm going to keep our 22 for our uh, sphere settings. We're going to walk up the trunk here, and then the red thing is going to, there it goes, it turns, so I know I'm in the middle now, and place it there. Okay, so now we have a trunk with a tree, and it looks terrible, which is exactly what we want. And the trees at the ones in Disneyland, they weren't just super round like this. They were sort of, they were kind of um, cut off so that they were more square. And so a quick way to do that is to click the, just select the face brush here and erase and take off some of these uh, faces here to get the tree to be just a little bit more square. We'll keep it round on top. How about that? You can do whatever you want. It's your tree. This is Bob Ross style. It's whatever you want to do. And we'll bring the bottom up. And now the tree looks pretty terrible. So the first thing we're going to do before we make it look like leaves and stuff like that is give it some more color. And so we're going to select the paint brush. And we're still still going to use our sphere here of, of 22. We might want to make it a little smaller, though. Put like something like 15, and none of this stuff matters. And choose just a different color green. And then you can kind of go over and just start painting uh, on this tree. If you get the trunk, you'd have to kind of repaint the trunk. Um, but you just want to kind of put some different colors into the tree there. So we'll grab a dark brush now. And in the middle, it's more dark, where the leaves are more dense. So we'll try to, like approximate that and it's a little more light at the top where the leaves are thinner and where the sun is shining and it's of course really dark on the bottom so to make it really dark on the bottom we'll go ahead and take this swatch hold down alt option key mac windows whatever that's not the right key how about you hold down the command or control key and that will uh, duplicate the swatch for you and then we will bring open the color palette here and just make that one a little darker and get the bottom of the tree here where the sun don't shine. 
and I got the trunk there. Of course, that's going to get shaded anyways. Just trying to make a bunch of like craziness in colors here. Might want to bring this down even more. Okay, so now we kind of have this messed up looking camouflage tree. Next thing we're going to do is start texturing the tree. And the tool I use for that is the line brush. And then you set to erase, and you literally just start chopping up the tree. So you just start making patterns uh, everywhere, careful not to get the ground. Um, the tree is maybe thinner or less leaves at the bottom, so we do more cutting uh, down here and at the top for sure. And then we spin it around and do the same thing here. It's more just cut down our tree. Do you see that? We will have to come back and fix that. After we're done slicing. So just slicing more at the bottom and the top, making like X patterns, and then a little bit in the middle. And you can, of course, uh, make just not instead of one just solid sphere like this so that the tree looks really like um, spherical, circular. Um, we could have put lots of spheres on top of each other. We're almost done with this tree. Just trying to create, break up anywhere you see sort of things that look like actual patterns. I'm trying to just break those up so that it looks like leaves instead of patterns. And these colors are awful. It still looks like a camouflage tree, but that's not a big deal because we can fix these colors anytime just by selecting the swatch and changing them in real time here. And the dark one. Okay. And now to fix our trunk, go back to the face brush, attach. We need to select our trunk color, of course. And there we go, trunk switch. To give a little texture to the trunk, I'll select erase and the vector tool and I'm gonna go back to a cube that is one and just put some little dings in the tree's uh, trunk. You might want some branches, that's enough dings, just so it looks like cheese, that's what you want. You might want some branches in your tree, and so to do that, we'll just start a branch here, and instead of erase, we'll do attach, and we will uh, go out a little bit, and then go up, and then over, and then up, and it's cool if branches just don't come out in one plane, so we'll maybe make it come over in this plane. Um, you would do this a bunch of times, then come in and decide whether or not you want your branch to be uh, have a more solid diagonal upward pattern like that, or whether or not you want to take off these sections so it goes up like that. And I'll do that for this one. And then just make another quick branch here that starts this way, but then decides to go this way for some reason. And go ahead and erase that guy and maybe put one there. Yeah, and one there. Do one in the back that nobody will ever see unless you upload this to Sketchfab and people spin your model around. Good. So there's one quick way to uh, do a tree. Of course, you could um, make different sized shaped trees. Just do another quick little trunk there. Pull it up and by just using the sphere tool, which is again on the vector brush, change to sphere, and this time instead of like 22 that I did last time, maybe we'll just do uh, eight. And, and start building multiple spheres. Same principle applies, and maybe as you get higher, the number of voxels in your sphere changes so that the tree starts to get a little thinner. And then you have a very different kind of looking tree there. And I would still 
do the same thing is taking the line brush and well, we, I, we just got to take the paintbrush and go in here and add some different color to the tree. Just like that. Anywhere you want to put color. doesn't matter. And then taking the line brush here uh, and erase and start to hack up the tree. I hacked up my ground there. Just to add texture, the illusion of leaves. That's pretty much it for just one quick, simple way to make trees. There's obviously a lot. This probably isn't even the best one. It's probably the worst one that you could use, but it works and it's pretty quick and it's fun for some reason to feel like you're uh, shaping a tree. That's all. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Check out my one other video at this time, but I just love Magic of Voxel so much. There'll probably be other videos on my techniques or how to do things in the program. Um, there you go.